Hello, my name is uh, Professor Kentaro Iwata. I am a specialist of infectious diseases at Kobe University Hospital, uh, Kobe, Japan. Today, I entered into the cruise ship uh, Diamond Princess, uh, which is uh, uh, bombarded by a lot of COVID-19 infection right now. And I was removed from the ship on the same day. And uh, I'm going to talk to you why this happened. I was very concerned of the number of the people who got infected with the COVID-19 disease uh, infection. Then the, uh, I was wondering why this is happening. I wanted to enter into the cruise ship and uh, wanted to be useful in helping to containing uh, infection there. And I spoke with several people and finally the uh, one officer at uh, working for uh, Ministry of Health and Labor called me yesterday saying that, well, you can come and enter into the cruise ship and do the infection control work. And I said, fine. Then I prepared my stuff and the, uh, did uh, all the paperwork and arrangement and they uh, got in onto the Shinkansen from Kobe to Yokohama. On the way to go to Yokohama, I got another call from the same officer say that somebody didn't like me, so the, you can't get into the cruise ship. Uh, the, he was not able to say who and he was not able to say why uh, but uh, certainly some power over him uh, affected his decision and uh, I was blocked uh, from entering into the ship. Then after several discussions he found another way that uh, if you could come as a one of the DMAT member uh, you can come in at, uh, into the cruise ship. Uh, DMAT is the disaster management medical team in Japan and usually deals with uh, disaster, not infectious diseases. But because of the lack of the people who could help uh, people inside the cruise ship to get out of the uh, ship or the managing a fever and so on and so on, DMAT was uh, requested to enter into the cruise ship. Uh, because my specialty is not a disaster management, so I was not very happy about that, but uh, because there was no other way, I said, fine, I'll do that. Uh, additionally, I got another call that some people didn't like me getting into the cruise ship, as a, even as a DMAT member. So the, I, another discussion happened, then the, uh, I waited about hour and one hour in Shin Yokohama station, then finally the officer find a way that if you work for DMAT, not as an infection prevention specialist, but as the ordinary routine DMAT officer working under one of the DMAT doctor doing a routine job, then you could come enter the cruise ship. I was not very happy with that decision, but because there's no other way, so I said, fine, then I'll get into the ship. I entered the ship, then I found the uh, chief officer uh, of the DMAT and I spoke with him. I said, well, I was assigned to a DMAT member, so I will do whatever you want to say. They, he said, well, you don't work, have to work DMAT work because that's not your specialty and you are an infection um, prevention specialist, so why don't you do the infection control? Then I said, fine. I spoke with the superior of him uh, who is in charge of the old DMAT operation and he also said that uh, you are an infection control person, so you should do infection control. I said, fine. But the, he said, well, you shouldn't be a, here as a DMAT member, you should come as the one with the infection control specialist. He was not very happy about uh, while I was inside the DMAT, but because that was not my decision, there was no other way. So the, I said, well, I have to do it. I looked into the uh, several places inside the ship and the, uh, turned out that the cruise ship was completely inadequate in terms of the infection control. Uh, there was no distinction between the green zone, which is uh, free of infection, and the red zone, which is potentially contaminated by virus. So the people could come and go wearing a PPE, off PPE, uh, crews were just walking around, and the officers uh, of Ministry of Health and Labor was walking around, DMAT people were walking around, psychiatrists were walking around. And the uh, people were eating on one place, uh, people were wearing a PPE and off PPE and eating lunch with the gloves on and the, uh, just dealing with the uh, smartphone with full PPE, so it was completely chaotic.
and uh, uh, some crews had a fever. They went to the medical center while wearing an N95 mask, but he didn't have any protection between his room and the medical room. And the medical officer was not protecting herself. And she was very unhappy saying that, uh, well, she was already infected. I'm sure about that. So the, uh, she was completely uh, giving up protecting herself. Anyways, uh, I dealt with a lot of infections more than 20 years. And the, I was in Africa dealing with the Ebola outbreak. Uh, I was in another country dealing with the cholera outbreak. Uh, I was in China in 2003 to deal with the SARS and I saw many febrile patients there. I never had fear of getting infection myself for Ebola, SARS, uh, cholera, because I know how to protect myself and how to protect others, and how the infection control should be. SOD, I could do the adequate infection control, protect myself, and protect others. But inside Princess Diamond, I was so scared. I was so scared of getting COVID-19 because there was no way to tell where the virus is. No green zone, no red zone. Everywhere could have virus and everybody was not careful about it. There was no single professional infection control person inside the ship and there was nobody in charge of infection prevention as a professional. The bureaucrats were in charge of everything and uh, I spoke with the head officer of the Ministry of Health and Labor and he was very unhappy with my suggestion of protecting DMART people and other staffs so that no other secondary transmission to occur. Then after several hours of talking to people and finding uh, problems, I found a lot of issues there. Uh, for example, uh, informed consent of getting a PCR from the uh, people in the ship was on a paper. And that paper was uh, going back and forth, back and forth uh, with the uh, room of the infection from the paper by touching there. So I suggested that uh, maybe it's better to abandon the paper type informed consent, but rather the uh, getting the informed consent verbally would be uh, more protective. Uh, so on, so on. So the, uh, I, was, I think I was reasonable and I never yell at anybody and I never criticize anybody personally uh, but I was trying to be constructive but they tried to seek the constructive but the immediate improvement to protect everybody inside the ship. Then about five o'clock the person from the quarantine office came in and approached said well you have to be out because you will not be allowed to inside the ship uh, because I was inside the ship as the temporary officer of the quarantine but the, apparently my, uh, uh, my rank was removed uh, by somebody and then nobody said who but the, uh, I was out and the officer who offered me the job of infection control said he was sorry then I asked him so what do you want to do then do you want to infect everybody in the ship it will be uh, thousands of people who could potentially get COVID-19. Um, I don't criticize DMART people, they were not infection control specialists. Uh, Society of Infection Prevention entered uh, the, uh, a lot of specialists uh, came in, but they spent only a few days and left. And uh, they said they were fearful of getting infection themselves. I share the same fear because I'm in the same room now and uh, I'm separated from my family. I'm very scared of getting infection myself and I'm very scared of infecting my family too. I'll be out of my medical service at Kobe University Hospital for maybe next two weeks to avoid further infections to occur. Uh, that is very likely to occur if you keep uh, zero infection control inside the ship, Diamond Princess, like this. Uh, 
you might know that there is no CDC in Japan. But uh, I thought there must be some specialist called on and uh, was in charge of infection control in a ship. I was not expecting nobody was professional infection control specialist. And the uh, only the bureaucrats were doing the jobs, uh, completely layman's work, and the violating all the infection control principles and the uh, uh, risking people inside uh, further infections. So I'm not very surprised to see uh, many new positive PCRs to be broadcasted every day. Uh, hundreds of people got infected and the, a lot of people from outside Japan uh, decided to uh, take their people away from the ship and uh, bring them to their home countries by airplane and uh, uh, offer them another 14 days of quarantine. Um, I hope this will be the opportunity to uh, raise a question of what is happening inside the ship. I wish all the international bodies to uh, request Japan to change. I wish uh, everybody to call for uh, protection of people inside the Diamond Princess. Otherwise, there will be far more infections for passengers, for crews, for DMART members, for psychiatrists, for officers of the Ministry of Health and Labor. Uh, DMART members uh, consist of nurses and doctors and uh, they will go back to their hospitals, they work routinely and uh, they might infect their patients further to spread and uh, uh, the disease. I can't bear with it. I can't bear with it. I think we have to change, we have to do something about these crews and uh, 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 we have to help people inside the ship, uh, their safety and uh, their life. Again, uh, I'm Professor Kentaro Iwata, an infection disease, infectious diseases specialist. Thank you for the listening.